Well, hello, folks. Uh, along uh, Millam Road, beautiful boulevard leading to the east. It's a little sunny there towards the airport. Portage Street, Portage Road. We're here at Indian Field Cemetery, established in 1832. City of Portage. I've never been here. I remember driving by here as a kid when this was just a two-lane street. One going one, one the other right here where they turned it into a boulevard. And uh, there was no fence here then. It was just an old cemetery. And I didn't have much interest in cemeteries then. We're going to take a little look through here. It's not very big. Take a look. On both sides of the main gate are the French family. This is Richmond and Emily Day, 1822-1889, 1827-1889. They both died the same year. But right across from them here, a couple of others. Enoch French died November 26th of 1855. He was aged 81 years. And Electra, I'm sorry, Electa. Electa, wife of Enoch. She died December 4th, 1845, 68 years of age. Other very old markers here. Take a look. Sorry about the, uh, the shadows. It's just the way the sun is. Just can't barely read these. Here's a finger pointing towards heaven. This is Rachel. The rest I can't read. These have been damaged. Probably a big old tree. Another. I think it's 1830. The name on this one. Wow. Moon. Nice big old cedar tree. Now, here lie William B. and Cora A. Millam. Now, William was a grandson of Millam that the road out here is named after, who was the pioneer, so forth. This couple built a Queen Anne home here in Kalamazoo area. Known for that, being the grandson of the pioneer. The sweet lands. Frank W. Hawkins, 1866 to 1897. Father, mother, father, 1836 to 96. So, mother, Evelyn, father was John. So, Jesse B., 1810. I can block that a little bit. 1892. Israel Weber. Right there. Well, there's some old, some old stones in here. We're going by people born in the 1860s I just seen. I didn't notice this, but there's a stone that's right here next to the seat, a big old cedar tree. Don't know if we can read it. Man, it just... Edwards. Looks like the last name. Man, could be. It's like 1839. This might be... Uh, right there, one of the oldest ones in here. Elizabeth Stone. That's right there. Here's a mason. And I just can't read it. Maybe you can. Needs to, a proper cleaning. Blodgett's are back here. This is Elizabeth. 
this marker. It has been cracked at one time. This side, the handshake, it just can't read it. This one was cracked as well. This is Sarah L. Oliver. Sarah L. Oliver. Right here. The area around here um, is owned by the city of Kalamazoo. The, the uh, K. Risa headquarters is over here, about another hundred meters. This is all um, to be left this way. The dirt pile you see back there is just a, a place that they're pushing an embankment up. They're going to be making a, a little extension. They're building an extension back here um, to the Kerisa. But the rest of this over here is woods and all the property across the street to the corner, to the corner up here and all the way down is owned by Pfizer. It used to be Upjohn property. Halfway between here and the actual uh, Pfizer plant is the Stryker headquarters. Beautiful big headquarters. We might go down through there and take a look. But first we're going to worry about the cemetery. We're not worried about it. We want to have a look. If we were worried, this thing would be shaking like this. I'm worried. I'm worried. We don't, I'm not too worried. Here's one that somebody had tried to put back together again. The stone's broken and missing, and you can see two newer screws that have been put in there. But it must not have worked. That's not a good way to fix them anyway. Charles Buck. 1831-1908. Here's what I'd have to call the newer part of the cemetery. Back here, we're going to look at that in a second. Let's see here. A uh, couple areas here that we may have, uh, have missed. Larger monument here. The shillings. And this is the Schilling um, plot, family plot, very nice. Here's John Canham, 1825, 1998. One thing I haven't seen so far, up here in the front, Except over here, I, I do see uh, veterans' flags. Okay, it's it's not normal to go through a cemetery and not see veterans' flags. Um, here's one of the finials that I talk about. It's been damaged, but still there. Yes, this is a. Uh, much newer part of the cemetery. Yes. I think this is a beautiful little cemetery. Knowing that it's going to stay like a park like this, and knowing that it appears that there are, are sites back here that you could still um, that you could still purchase. Now this would be a very nice place. Some other millums. It's going to say there's a wood cross back here in the corner. You can see what I'm thinking. And as I look at it closer, it's a uh, mount for a hose reel. And of course, the water for a garden hose. Had me going there for a second. All right, so this is it. Walk back up here towards the front. See what we can see. Somebody was dipping back here. There's their chaw. 
don't see any empty bottles back here. That's good. Thought you might want to look at that. And as I always do when I'm in cemeteries, if something needs a little fixing there with a flag, these veterans, well, I'm here to do it. A little flag straightening here. We'll take a look at it. There we go, sir. Much better. Right here over this little cemetery, you're on downwind for uh, runway 17, the active here right behind me at uh, Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport. So you'd have the uh, aircraft coming over in practice as well. It's very peaceable scenery. I love this kind of driveway. It's what my driveway is like too. I have stone on either side. It's crushed, loose, and a nice little patch of grass going down the center. Some neighbors say, why don't you pave it? Because I like this. Kind of homey. Here are the Allens along the eastern fence. Here's Nellie Carfield, born... September 18th, 1876, and she passed away fe February 8th of 1886, 10 years old. The Garfield. Ira, Company K, 2nd Michigan Cavalry. Civil War. Let's straighten them up here a little bit. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for your service, Mr. Garfield. We're going to straighten you up. <laughs> 